So Edwin Hubble was born in 1889. And so at this point in, in history, uh, many things have changed since Newton's time with regard to technology, information, and science. So therefore, we now have a bit of a shift in musical style as well. And it just so happens that there is a famous jazz trombonist called Eddie Hubble, uh, who also played during the early to mid 20th century. And so the trombone becomes the instrument that is featured in this movement. Edwin Hubble was an American astronomer who played a crucial role in establishing the fields of extragalactic astronomy and observational cosmology, uh, and is regarded as one of the most important astronomers of all time. So at the beginning of the 20th century, the prevailing view of the cosmos was that the universe insist, consisted entirely of the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, what Hubble discovered was that many objects previously thought to be clouds of dust and gas and classified as nebulae were actually galaxies beyond the Milky Way. So his observations made in 1924 using the Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson in California, which was then the world's largest telescope, proved conclusively that these nebulae were much too distant to be part of the Milky Way and were in fact entire galaxies outside our own. Hubble also provided evidence that the recessional velocity of a galaxy increases with its distance from the Earth, a property now known as Hubble's law, uh, which implies that the universe is expanding, and which is often used to support the Big Bang Theory. Hubble himself, however, eventually went on to reject the notion of an expanding universe and the Big Bang Theory. Um, Albert Einstein even went to visit Hubble uh, on one occasion to plead with him to reconsider his position, because of course the notion of an expanding universe uh, correlated very well with Einstein, Einstein's theory of relativity. Uh, in any case, Hubble's finding fundamentally changed the scientific view of the universe, and his discovery of nebulae outside of our galaxy helped pave the way for future astronomers. Hubble's name is attached to many other astronomical terms as well. Uh, for example, he also devised the most commonly used system for classifying galaxies, uh, grouping them according to their appearance in photographic images. Uh, he arranged different groups of galaxies in what became known as the Hubble sequence. But Hubble's name is probably most widely recognized for the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, which was named in his honor. And so this movement begins with another score-painted telescope. So you'll hear the, the horn uh, enter first, then joined by a trombone and trumpet, and then all five members uh, joining after that, so creating a, a telescope shape on the page of the score. These opening measures then launch us into a, something of a trombone cadenza um, as a kind of big bang, a, a musical tribute to the theory uh, to which Hubble's findings about redshift lend great support. And then the rest of the movement proceeds in a kind of ragtime, which is the style of music that would have been in its heyday around the time of Hubble's most significant work. The harmonies of the movement are based on when the saints go marching in, but altered to be in minor key. And ragtime is also used purposefully for other reasons. Uh, ragtime was often called the devil's music by the religious sect in its day. Yet many would specifically use oh, when the saints go marching in as a dirge and then later up-tempo at religious funeral services to both mourn and celebrate the life of the deceased. Similarly, the Big Bang Theory is also used by the church both for and against their arguments about the, the beginning of the universe. Regarding Hubble's own spiritu spirituality, he was raised as a Christian, but some of his later statements suggested that he had a, a fair degree of uncertainty about this. And so when he died of a spontaneous blood clot in his brain in 1953, no funeral was held for him, and his wife never revealed his burial site. Thank mm -hmm. you. 